What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Is It OP? The series where we take a look at some of TF2's most stereotypically overpowered weapons and put them to the test to see if they do in fact live up to their reputation. Now today, we're going to be looking at the Gunslinger, the mini sentry, the bane of a whole bunch of TF2 players and one of the most hated weapons in the game, including myself. Now, while we normally do this at the end, I'm going to come out right at the start now and say what I think everyone knows I'm going to end up saying, which is that yes, I do think this weapon is OP. Despite that though, I do think it has a really, really important element in the game, and it is extremely fun and should definitely not be removed. Now, the reason I say that is because without the mini sentry, the engineer would kind of be restricted to playing that, you know, level 3 nest role, where all he can do is build up his level 3 sentry, dispenser, teleport, and then just kind of sit by and protect that nest for the entire game and never really go anywhere. The mini sentry lets you kind of play that really fun, aggressive engineer getting up in people's faces and gives the class a lot more relevance on uh, kind of like offense roles for stuff like payload. So, now let's talk about what makes this weapon so goddamn strong and frustrating to play against. Well, it has an absolutely massive AoE denial. And by what I mean by that is that you can put it down on a cough map and it can basically cover pretty much the entire map or pretty much any area of relevance where all the objectives are. And that makes it unbelievably good for shutting down a lot of close range classes that need to get up in people's faces. Because stuff like Scout have absolutely no way to deal with the mini sentry because of its extremely long range and accuracy. If a scout needs to deal with something like a sniper, yes, a sniper does have longer range, but that scout is able to kind of duck and dive and weave around and dodge to get really close and then eventually take that guy out with a few scattergun shots. Whereas the mini sentry, it cannot miss, which means that a scout has absolutely no opportunity to kind of get close into an area where it can actually do damage and kill that mini sentry. And that's the same with a whole bunch of other classes like heavy. They're unable to get within a range where they can really kill a mini sentry without them actually taking like 200 damage to get to that spot. And then even if you are a class that's able to deal with the mini sentry, the amount of health this thing has is absolutely insane. With 100 HP, even if you're a soldier or a demo man, from a medium range, it's still going to take you two rockets or two grenades or a whole bunch of ammo from any other class to actually take this thing down. Which then leads on to the third and biggest problem, which is kind of what makes the mini sentry so appealing, is unlike a level 3 sentry where you have to kind of build it up and you spend ages getting it to level 3, building up your nest, and then you have to spend a lot of effort protecting that, the mini sentry is totally kind of disposable. So even once one of the enemy gets close to it and finally manages to try and take it out, you can immediately just put down another one. Absolutely no cost to you. It doesn't hurt you at all. And you're totally okay to just keep on running around and being that annoying guy that you always are as a mini sentry engineer. So, what does all this mean, and why is the mini sentry so goddamn frustrating to play against? Well, the reason I really feel that everyone hates this weapon and gets so annoyed when someone's using it is it actually forces you to play a certain way. If someone else on the other team is playing a mini sentry on Koth, you can't just keep playing Scout. If your team isn't killing those mini sentries for you, you physically cannot play Scout because you cannot kill mini sentries efficiently. You can't counter the mini sentry as a Scout. You can't go anywhere on the map because it watches everywhere and you can't kill the mini sentry because you can never get close to it. So if someone on the other team is going mini sentry NG and spamming these things out, your only real option to deal with them properly is to go something like direct hit or lock and load that can quickly one hit them and take them out as quickly as the engineer can put them down. And I really, really don't think that you should ever be forced to play a certain class or a certain loadout just because one person on the other team is going there. Even if there's something like a spy, which is one of the classes you need to counter, you can still, you've still got so many options. You can go like a milk scout or Girardi sniper or a whole bunch of other ways you can kind of detect these things and pick them up. But for the mini sentry, it has no kind of general counter that any class can beat it with. You have to be playing a certain way to beat this thing. And that's why I really, really think it needs some changes. So what changes could we make to make this weapon a lot less annoying? Well, I got a few ideas that maybe you guys might agree with. I'm not saying you would implement all these at once because then it would probably become a bit underpowered. 
but some of the things I reckon you could really do to make this weapon more balanced are one, change its shootable area. So kind of the area it can shoot in to 180 degrees. Right now, the mini sentry can shoot in 360 degrees. That's all directions. However, if you were to change this to 180 degrees, the big thing uh, that I think this would do is, you know, I was saying earlier, about how one of the things that makes them so annoying is that close range classes never have a chance to get up to them and actually try and take them out because with their 100% accuracy rate, they never have a chance to get close. Well, if you were to make that uh, kind of AOE where they can shoot 180 degrees, that would kind of let stuff like scouts actually sneak up behind them and maybe kill them. And it would also make uh, engineers have to think a bit more carefully about, you know, where am I gonna put this thing down? Where is it gonna sit? and kind of think a bit more tactically and not just dump it down in the middle of the map and hope that it's going to get all the kills that they want it to get. Then finally, the option that I'm kind of most in favor of is to just reduce its health from 100, which it's at at the moment, to 80 health. Now, while that might not seem like a lot to some of you, this would actually be an absolutely massive change because that would mean that you could one-shot mini sentries with just the normal rocket launcher from a medium range or with grenade pipes or with a whole bunch of other weapons that normally have to spend a ton of time killing mini sentries. That would effect effectively make them twice as vulnerable to stuff like just the default rocket launcher and I think this would be a great change to make them a lot less annoying and more something you just have to Kind of quickly deal with before you can keep on going about your day rather than having to spend you know 10 seconds destroying one another one immediately gets put down and rinse and repeat that for the entire game which uh does make them a kind of annoying thing to play against right now but uh thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed i hope uh maybe some of you agreed with some of the opinions i had if you've got some ideas of your own of what you think makes this weapon so annoying or what you think we'd change about it or an idea for next week's is it op chuck them down in the comments below i'd love to read them but thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did it really really helps me out but uh i'm gonna stop now before i start going on an epic rant as i tend to do whenever i'm talking about mini centuries so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one